What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Um, I had to get a new filming situation because the uh, glass on the back of my uh, phone here <laughs> completely, completely shattered in. So yeah, filming on that was just no bueno. But anyway, um, all right. So in this video, uh, I got my brand new, I did it steering column and holy crap, is it nice. Let me sh just check this out. So, everything is brand spanking new. Like all the wiring that goes to it, this is super freaking nice. So, um, yeah, so they went ahead and they made me a steering column. If you guys remember from the last time I, uh, I talked about the idea of steering column in like one of my earlier videos, um, basically I sent them back my old steering column, which is in the car right now. Um, and I only had that installed just in case um, I couldn't get this one in time, but obviously Power Tour and uh, Holly Mo Party have already come and gone. But anyway, so I put that in the car, uh, just in case. But, um, so what I did was I ended up sending them that one and they made me a brand new, uh, tilt steering column for this car. Now, talking to those guys, uh, they did tell me that this, uh, this steering column is serial number one. I have the very first production 1970 Mopar B-body and E-body steering column that is a uh, key in the column. All the other Mopar steering columns that they offer, I guess are a uh, key in the dash. And so um, I told them um, at SEMA's media trade conference last year that um, I really wanna retain the key in, uh, in the column. It's a, it's a pretty unique feature specific to 1970 in these cars. And so, uh, but I said, I was like, hey, I mean, but I mean, I love your guys' flair on uh, steering columns. I don't, I'm not really like super caring about wanting to keep everything original, obviously. But, um, but I was like, yeah, as long as it, you know, as long as it's black, pff, I'm, I'm all for it. So this is what they came up with. So again, this is for uh, 1970 uh, B-Body and I believe E-Body Mopar. Um, this is going to be, I have to mount the bracket that's on the, on the column itself right now, but I got to mount the bracket to that. But yeah, um, this is it, man. It's all powder coated black. Uh, the only thing that I did notice is, is that it utilizes, um, a GM style key. So I got to have a GM key in my Mopar, <laughs> but it's not, it's not a huge deal. Um, I, I'm sure at some point I could probably switch out this ignition for like a Mopar style ignition and and utilize my keys and stuff like that. But for right now, th that's fine. I'm not <laughs> I'm not even remotely worried about it. Um, but yeah, so turn signal notch right here, and then this is the tilt steering notch right there. Um, and I didn't know this, but like when I was in high school, right? So I had um, this was my first car, my '70 Dodge Dart, and I actually traded this plus some cash for my Coronet. Uh, this was um, right when I moved into my house here, um, but I got the car back in 2014. But uh, I also had this 74 Nova, right? And um, I noticed that this steering column was basically the same exact steering column that was in my Nova. So there was an I did it steering column in my Nova back in high school, but it was chrome. So that's kind of a, <laughs> that's kind of rad that uh, as fate would have it, I would get back to having a, uh, I did a steering column and I loved that steering column. It was super, super nice. It was also tilt steering, but, um, but anyway, so, um, let's get into, um, first off unplugging my old steering column wires and all that stuff and pulling it out and, uh, getting this new one prepped and ready to go in. Oh, also, I don't know if I mentioned the uh, the camera situation that I got is a new GoPro Hero 8. Well, it's new to me. I know they've got like Hero 10s and stuff like that, but those are super expensive. So uh, this the Hero 8 Black, it looks really, really nice. I mean, 
this is probably like one of the nicest action cameras I've ever had. Um, and I do have a Nikon D3400. That's what I usually use to take pictures of the car and stuff like that or whatever. But um, yeah, no, uh, this is this is really, really cool. I dig it. I got like one of the little audio packs that like clicks into the outside for social media stuff. Pretty rad. But one of the main reasons why I got the GoPro is because I wanted to take a bunch of like action shots of the car when I'm driving. So I'll probably mount it like here area or, you know, something like that, or maybe like up on the glass. Um, but I am also going to get a tether for it because I don't really trust the whole suction cup thing. Um, a, couple, a couple of my friends have GoPros and they're like, yeah, the suction cup works cool until it pops off. So they're like, I highly suggest getting a tether. So that's what I'll do. But um, anyway, no, um, I like the GoPro. Hopefully you guys like the video quality coming out of it. But um, anyway, let's get back to it. Okay, so I also wanted to talk about this real quick. This is everything that came in the kit. So um, it's got the, the mounting plate that goes on the firewall. Um, it's got my little levers for the tilt steering and, um, and the turn signals. And then this is for the emergency flasher here. It also comes with a, uh, their own ignition relay box, which is super nice. That's, wow, that's, <laughs> that's really nice. Um, not sure what this wire is. It'll tell me in there, but... Um, yeah, it just comes with like other stuff too. Um, and then of course, obviously, you know, like their instruction manual. So I'll have to go ahead and, you know, read through that stuff. Like not necessarily for the plate that's, I mean, that just bolts in and, and whatnot, but, um, as far as like hooking everything up and how they want it. So, um, that's pretty rad. All right. Well, what I'm going to do first is, um, probably going to unbolt the plate from the firewall. Um, I didn't, I didn't bolt that up, uh, just cause I was trying to get some fitment going on, but, um, yeah, so I'll unbolt, uh, the steering column actually from the dash itself and then I'll, uh, unplug all the wiring and should just be able to slide right out pretty, uh, pretty easily. So, uh, yeah, let's get going on that. All right, old steering column is out. Um, and I don't know if I mentioned before, but I was having an issue where um, this cord was being trapped. Anyway, <laughs> but anyway, I was having an issue where um, the steering column was binding, right? So so I, I had to take the, the little bearing out of the front here so that this could just move around because I was curious as to, you know, see is why why the uh, the steering column and the box weren't like lining up so i know it's, it's kind of hard to tell but that coupler right there when it's pointing at the when it's pointing at the firewall is coming at the firewall in somewhat of a like a like kind of like kind of like in this angle and it should be pointing straight at so that when uh, uh the steering column goes down the the little u-joint coupler there can just slide right in and and have no issue but uh for some reason that the, the box um is i don't know like is it it might be like angled wrong something like that i've tried shimming it on both sides there's no movement side to side um but yeah so it's not exactly aiming directly at uh, the center of the steering column hole in the firewall per se uh where it should be so um, I might have to do like a secondary U-joint that, um, that comes from, um, I'll, I'll show you the, the new steering column or whatever, but, um, I might have to do like a secondary U-joint that goes from here, like a straight little piece of bar. And then that, and then that would go into that U-joint down there. And then that would allow me to have, um, all of the, the turning, I guess I would need to not cause binding, um, so uh, I want to put that the new steering column in and kind of see where that lines up because um, 
Obviously there's really gonna be no difference between uh, this one and, and that one as far as, you know, like how straight it is, they're both straight. So if I'm having issues with this steering column, I'm probably gonna have an issue with that one. So, and obviously it's not the columns issue and it's not where it mounts up on the dash because, you know, there was no problem before. So it might, I don't know, it might be a combination of, um, of like K-member and, um, and Borgeson steering box, but uh, I'm just not sure yet. So uh, let's, let's put the new one in and, and see where it ends up. All right, it is now uh, a couple days later and some crazy crap happened. Um, not good, uh, let, me, let me show you here. So this is my daily driver, my 2014 Scion FRS. And apparently it does not hold up well when you hit a deer at like 45 miles an hour. <laughs> Freaking just destroyed this thing. I mean, it's, it's done. <laughs> Hood, freaking bumper, lights, grill, my windshield, and on top of the roof. I don't know if you can see it in this light, but there is like antler and, and dentage happening in this area. It's, uh, it's pretty much toast. So tow truck company is i think coming today to come pick it up yeah there's also like i think his head smashed here but yeah it was like body bam <laughs> head and he flew up in the air and landed on my windshield it is crazy that he did not come through my windshield i i thought for sure that it was when it landed on my uh on my windshield but <sighs> yeah kind of bummed um but this just kind of gives me an opportunity to get another car or make the coronet my daily i mean i guess i could technically do that i'd rather not but um i certainly could do that but i've been looking at a uh at a 2000 i'm oh, sorry i'll hold you in the light there um uh, i've been i've been looking at this uh 2013 challenger uh it's an rt 5.7 but those have the better eagle engine right i think they're 395 horsepower or something right there um but it's a super nice car and i called about it and um they said it's still available so the insurance company again they're going to send a tow truck out today to come pick this up and uh if it if it actually turns out to be totaled which i think that it is then uh then i'll uh spend that money and get get me a get me a challenger I think it'd be a uh, pretty cool not not a new one but like i said the older like the older newer body styles like the i think they're like the 2008 to 2014 are all the same same body style and then in 2015 then they change but uh yeah pretty cool but yeah sucks about my frs but anyway um so another cool thing is my buddy wyatt and his girlfriend are here and uh they're just out grabbing some breakfast but um, yeah, me and Wyatt are gonna hop on this car, and we're gonna try to we're gonna try to get it get it going here. So um, the last thing you guys saw was I pulled um, my factory uh, column out, so it's just sitting in here. Um, I had to stop the other night just because um, I had something came up and I needed to needed to call it a night, and then um, then I went to work, or I was going to go to go to work, and then literally. A quarter mile or a half mile from my house is when I freaking nailed that deer at like 6.30 in the morning. It's crazy. So I freaking turned around and drove it back home, called the insurance company, and yeah. So, but anyway, um, yeah, we're going to hop on getting the new column put in wherever it is. Uh, I think it's sitting. Yeah, so I'm going to clean all this crap out of my garage and get the new column. We're going to get that put in there. Uh, try to get it aligned here with the, uh, uh, the little swivel U-joint uh, socket there, and then um, try to hook some stuff up and see where we're at. So, all right, let's go. Okay, so Wyatt is here doing Wyatt things. What's happening? So uh, he's working on is the uh, hold. Up, let me get over there. The uh, the hydraulic um, throwout bearing line like the hydraulic clutch line that comes into um the slave cylinder down there like the nut is tight 
but that line can still swivel. So we're thinking that there's some sort of uh, an issue with the actual flare itself and it's just not allowing it to to tighten up because it just leaks right out of the top of the right out of the top of the flare or whatever. But um, so we're gonna try to remedy that situation. So why it's working on that. And then as far as like the steering column goes, so this is my old one and it requires you to put on this uh, mounting bracket that uh, that goes on the bottom of the steering column, right? So I'm not gonna slap disgusting rusty part on my brand new uh, polished freaking steering column or powder coat to steering column. So I'm gonna clean this up real quick and then I'm gonna paint it black and then we'll uh, mount it on that one and get it ready to slam in the car. Okay. FRS is all loaded up, getting it going. I'll have to go see if it's uh, totaled out or not, but I guarantee it is. But you never know. I don't know. Yeah, that's crazy. So yeah, he's gonna load. He loads that on here. He's gonna pick that one up. Why his dispatcher sent him on a call when he was already loaded up to pick up my car is unreal. I used to be a tow truck driver for those who don't know. And uh, if my dispatcher ever sent me on a call where I was already loaded up and I had to go pick up a real wheel drive lowered car with the truck, I'd be so pissed. <laughs> That's ridiculous, but oh well, it's getting taken care of. Um, we did figure out the dilemma with the and yes. case <laughs> uh, we did figure out the dilemma with the, the fitting so it's basically it's like it's like a male male AN fitting so what we need is we need yeah. an inverted AN fitting uh, you probably can't see it but it's yes yeah, we need the male adapter and then uh, an inverted flare on the other side yeah so it's a crazy looking flare. The problem is, is you just have this space in the middle and nothing tightens up. It just shoots brake fluid in the air. Yeah. It's not good. Yeah. No clutch. Not good. So we're gonna go get that uh, adapter. Listen to some more Alabama. <laughs> oh, so right. <laughs> My Dixie land like you. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> All right, this is not getting monetized. Nope. <laughs> Okay, so we uh, we went to Rebus and we got um, like a little grease gun because we're gonna grease up all of the uh, QA1 stuff down underneath here. And then um, we've got a couple parts that are on order for the, um, the little slave cylinder. And apparently like there's a specific fitting that goes um, into the Willwood slave cylinder that is specifically from Willwood, and like no one else has that exact size. It's like I don't, I don't even know what it is. It's like some crazy weird. Yeah. Like <laughs> we one got the like, settings. we got the metric version of it around here somewhere. So like this is the metric version of the fitting that we need, but it's um yeah that's it's it's just not right. So uh, we ordered one of these. Um, from from Willwood, or was it from Summit? Eaton. It was from Eaton. Yep. Directly okay. From Eaton. Yeah. So those will be here in the morning, so that way we can get the uh, hydraulic clutch line hooked up, and then we can bleed the whole clutch system. Um, cool. And then as far as the steering column goes, I know we've <laughs> said we've been working on that, but we spent a lot of time trying to look for that other part. So hanging up in my paint booth is. Uh, the little bracket piece here for the steering column. I just wanted to. I just wanted to paint that because it was super rusty. So, so it's gonna. Um, it's gonna mount. It's gonna mount right here on the, uh, the, these two surfaces there. I've got the bolts or whatever. So, I'm gonna go ahead and look over the instructions um, and see what plugs into what, um, and then go ahead and install it. So, we're gonna look over this stuff. Uh, we're, and then once that part in the tree gets done drying, then we're going to go ahead and uh, get it in the car, uh, send it through the firewall, and see what happens. Okay, so uh, got the little little bracket plate uh, mounted to the steering column. So now we're going to 
shove it through here. We got the new, uh, I don't know if you can see, it might be hard to see. Uh, let me see if I can turn the light on real quick. Oh yeah, that's nice and bright. Okay. So we got the uh, little plate here mounted to the firewall. I mean, it's it's not tight, it's just, it's just snugged up. But um, yeah, we're gonna go ahead, put the uh, steering column through and see where it lines up with the, uh, well, yeah, that little uh, swivel down there. So, all right, let's go ahead and shove this in. Hold that. Ooh. Wow, this steering column is nice. Yep. Now, if I could just get it through the firewall, that's the other thing. Uh, what's the deal? It definitely doesn't want to go through. Because why? You have a trap right this thing? Where is my lithium grease? Well, I think, oh, yeah, just add a little uh, sliding on there. Add a little of that uh, sh <laughs> schlithium grease. Schlithium, sh slide them in grease. <laughs> yep. Okay. See if you can uh, try to pull it through that way, I don't know. It must really want a tight fit in this thing. Yep. be continued. Um, I'll have to play around with that o-ring a little bit because it is not going in. It's pretty tight and I would imagine that they were doing that on purpose just because of you know just weather and you know engine heat or something or whatever just to seal off the firewall but um, yeah it's the o-ring is basically the same size as this as this little lip here and it's just a pain in the ass to try to get that to slide through even with the uh, lithium grease on there still not want to slide through all right but uh we'll get it figured out we'll get it slid on and uh next thing you'll see it's uh it's in so stand by okay so it's been a couple days um wyatt and his girlfriend casey have left and uh we've we've got a lot done sorry I, it's hard for me to film now that i'm not like on a deadline anymore for power tour and, and mo party um just my regular life kind of just gets in the way. But anyway, so I wanted to show you real quick um, where we're at. So steering column is in and the steering wheel is just mocked up on there. Like it, it works, but it's, you know, like this, this little nut in here is not super tight. It's just, it's just kind of sitting on there just for right now, just so maybe I could move it if I needed to or whatever. But um, the little ignition uh, module box, is gonna sit over here, probably gonna mount it up like right here or something like that. I think that's probably the best spot. And then I'll cover it up with uh, this little kick panel here. So that way I don't get any, you know, uh, wires um, caught, up by my, caught up by my pedals. But uh, what I did wanna show you real quick is um, a lot of stuff got done. The clutch has been bled. Brakes have been bled. So I've got clutch pedal, I've got brakes. Um, I need to hook up, I need to hook back up my, uh, my reverse lockout switch, but, um, but yeah, as, but as far as the, um, I did it steering column goes, everything is, uh, is working properly. Check this out. All right. So 
Where's my little... Okay, so, ignition on. Hit the brake pedal, put it in neutral. Monitors. Okay. Sweet, man. Yeah, everything's good to go. I'm telling you, this this steering column is is so freaking nice, man. Seriously, it's like it's one of the nicest pieces on this car. It's a little too nice for the car, but it's absolutely amazing. But yeah, you know. Turn signals working just fine. Perfect. Tilt, you know, I can bring it up, I can bring it down, whatever. It's absolutely amazing. Flash a button like right here. Um, I gotta get maybe some sort of a, like a different adapter for the steering wheel so that way there's not this gap here. Um, Cause this, this whole configuration is not meant for this steering column, but you know, again, we just got it, you know, sitting on here just for right now. Um, kind of cool there's like a little half second delay from when you turn it off but yeah not bad so i'm put that in gear um well let's see yeah i think we're almost i think we're i think we're about done with the steering column um again this 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 column is super freaking nice a huge shout out to i did it steering for sending me this column it is uh it's really cool knowing that this is steering column numero uno <laughs> to be re to be released for uh, the 1970 model cars uh, with tilt steering key in the column uh, for B body stuff. Um, I know they've got columns for A body Mopars, but uh, nothing uh, nothing before for, that they had for the B body or E body car. So this is this is the the first one. All the wiring is super nice. It plugs in real well. I like the I like the ignition relay box that they that they send with it and just plugs in and it's super freaking simple. Like so I'm just gonna mount it up on the on the little side there and um, get all the wires hidden. But other than that, man, thanks for watching. Um, we are about ready to rip in this thing, and I, I'm pretty excited. So um, if you feel I've earned your subscribe. <laughs> If you feel I have earned your subscription, please subscribe, share with your friends, and uh, dudes, I'll see you next time.